Cognicep's software and services do is allow a confused robot to dial out to a human operator who can then see what the robot sees and control it in an intuitive way. Cognicept offers uh, human in the loop supervised autonomy services. So essentially robots are not good at dealing with unstructured environments or unpredictable scenarios. Uh, so you end up with these high failure rates. Uh, so what Cognicept's software and services do is allow a confused robot to dial out to a human operator who can then see what the robot sees and control it in an intuitive way, getting it back to normal operation. Uh, this idea came to me when I was trying to deploy robots into uh, an e-commerce warehouse. So this is a warehouse where everything is quite unstructured and unpredictable, uh, and this causes a lot of problems for the robotics machine intelligence. So. Whenever we were trying to do this, the robot would often fail, and I thought it would be great if this robot could kind of get help from a human operator whenever that would happen. Well, interestingly, I don't see a lot of other companies doing what we're doing. This is a relatively new space, uh, and this is actually something one of our first customers said was, finally, somebody's doing this, somebody's solving this problem. So my two co-founders are uh, guys named Alok Pata and Ruchit Rami. So Alok has got a background in communications protocols and robotics. He's building out our intervention technologies. And then Ruchit Rami has a background with machine learning implementations and uh, IT infrastructure development. So he's going to be heading out our IT strategies and uh, data strategies. My co-founders are great guys. Um, I, I really enjoy working with them, and it's and so much fun that you know sometimes I forget how demanding uh, what it is that we're doing. What's next for Cognicept uh, is really broad, but you know we have a very targeted map. So we're starting out with cleaning robots uh, because it's it's very similar to the delivery robots that we work with right now. We want to get into robotic arms in the near future. So this is for applications like piece picking in e-commerce. Uh, there are a lot of applications for robotic arms that are not reliable yet. So we see that there's a really large market for us there. Humanoid robots that perform functions of nursing or uh, you know, manual labor that are controlled in an advanced economy from a lower cost economy. So you can have people working in um, foreign countries uh, while staying home. Nobody tells you that uh, when you start out that everybody that's really supportive tends to drop away as you get more and more committed to the idea. So you start to see who really means it and uh, who is just saying you know, positive things in the beginning because wanted to be friendly. So you, you really start to see who was uh, a true believer in the idea um, from the beginning. Yeah. Uh, being an entrepreneur means that your success belongs to you and your failure also belongs to you.